Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video in our space series. Today, we will be learning about Chris Hadfield, a retired Canadian astronaut, engineer, fighter pilot, and singer. So let's jump right in. Starting with his early life, born on August 29, 1959, Chris Hadfield grew up on a farm in southern Ontario, Canada. At nine years old, he witnessed the Apollo 11 moon landing on television, which served as a major source of career inspiration for him. Regarding his education, in 1978, Hadfield joined the Canadian Armed Forces and shortly afterward, graduated from the Royal Military College in 1982 with a degree in mechanical engineering. Following graduation, he served as a test pilot for the Royal Canadian Air Forces and he flew various types of aircraft in his role. On to his astronaut career, in June 1992, the Canadian Space Agency, also known as the CSA, selected Hadfield from among thousands of applicants to join its astronaut training program and to also become one of four new Canadian astronauts. In August of the same year, the CSA stationed Hadfield at the NASA Johnson Space Center, located in Houston, Texas, where he contributed to both Canada's and the United States' space programs. In November 1995, Hadfield flew into space for the first time. During this mission, he became the first Canadian to serve as a mission specialist, the first Canadian to operate the Canada Arm in orbit, and the first and only Canadian to board the Russian space station Mir. In April 2001, Hadfield traveled to the International Space Station, also known as the ISS, on his second spaceflight. During this mission, he performed two spacewalks, making him the first Canadian to walk in space. In March 2013, during Hadfield's third and final mission to space, he became the first Canadian to command the ISS. Throughout this mission, Hadfield shared various photos and videos through social media, showing people on Earth what life is like as an astronaut living on the ISS. He even became the first person to film a music video in outer space, which was a cover of Space Oddity by David Bowie. In closing, Chris Hadfield has accomplished several Canadian firsts from being the first Canadian to walk in space to being the first Canadian commander of the International Space Station. There is no denying that Hadfield's efforts to raise public awareness of space exploration and to also educate people across the globe about astronaut experiences have had a tremendously positive impact. With that said, here are our sources and credits, and we thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!